Whether you are in your retirement years, heading there, or nowhere close, we have great things to share with all stationary RVers, and many of our tips work for nomad RVers as well. So stay tuned for this week's amazing tips, tricks, and tested products. It's 5 a.m., and I'm getting up to start my day. Who knew your RV could be so dark? I love my RV home. However, it's a bit annoying that my options to turn on lighting is so limited. You must either use a switch which turns on a number of bright lights, or you have to use the control panel to adjust for the type of low lighting you want. Even though we have a fairly bright street light outside of our RV, the blackout shades keep every bit of light from coming in. All I can see are the lights on the couch and the TV indicator. I can't see the stairs or potential stumbling hazards. Because of my age and my medical condition, if I fall, I most likely will break a bone. Here are a few ways we illuminate the morning without waking everybody up. First, we have two salt lamps that we plug in and never turn off. These lamps give off a warm reddish pink glow, so it's a soft light that allows for you to see without that harsh glare that other lights can often get off. Some even claim the lamps can boost moods, improve sleep, ease allergies, help people with asthma breathe better, and clean the air along with other benefits. I put a link down below if you're interested in more of that research. The larger one we have in the living room provides a soft light over a fairly large area. The smaller one in the bathroom offers less light, but where you need less light. The second type of nightlight we recommend is the WISE rechargeable nightlights. These are great because they're motion censored and they only come on when you are near them. They go off fairly quickly when you move out of their range as well. The charge lasts for quite some time, I think about a month, and they use a C-type charging cord. They're magnetic and we have one on our fridge, one on the dryer that's low enough to catch Izzy when she wanders into the garage for her night potty breaks. Because they also come with magnetic adhesive plates, you can adhere them to other services. We have one mounted off the kitchen which illuminates our major hallway. We have a motion sensor light that is built into our steps. However, if we didn't have this feature, we would mount a wise nightlight there too. There are two other motion sensor wall lights that we use. Both of these are battery operated, but they do seem to last quite a long time. The Mr. Beam shines through our pantry, and this little flip light really illuminates a very dark corner behind our freezer in our supply area. And now it's time for me to really get started and get my day going. I turn on these two little task lamps above my desk, and this gives me just enough light to be able to do the work I need until Bob and Izzy get up and we can all start our day. I hope we've been able to shine a little light on the subject for you. Oh yes, pun intended. And you might find some of these lights helpful in your dark hours in your RV. As an extra bonus, how about a little dose of cuteness? Izzy loves the snow and this little video proves it. Don't forget to like and subscribe because next week we're gonna be showing you all the different kinds of storage containers we use in our RV. And you'll be one of the first to know if you ring that bell.